for the serious gamer. What's going on, freaks? Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. Welcome to the gun shop. Anyway, uh, today we're going to talk about headsets, accessories to improve your gaming. Um, I'm currently going through a phase now where I've got to get another one. Uh, so I do have some experience with headsets, and I generally buy uh, more expensive ones. Uh, Spiderbite, as you know, he doesn't use actually a gaming headset, but he does use uh, a pretty good setup using his uh, Sennheiser uh, 5.1 surround wireless headset, which gives you the same, if not amazing sound quality on it it's just you have to have a separate mic set up it's pretty easy he's used it for a long time gives him optimal sound uh, but I'm gonna talk about gaming headsets so while his setup you can go actually go on the website uh, under facts or whatever and you'll see his setup it'll, it'll show you exactly what he's using and how he sets it up because he goes through a uh, surround receiver like a stereo system and then uses his headset off of that so that is definitely one way to go uh, you can't go wrong with that because it allows you to buy sort of high-end quality uh, surround sound headsets like what he has uh, that aren't meant for gaming but are durable and last a long time and typically what happens is when you buy these gaming headsets that you find at the store um, like Logitech ones which I've gone through I think three or four of those and I don't go through them anymore but they're really not rugged. They're not built very strong. You get what you pay for, people. You get what you pay for. And the bottom line here that I'm trying to get across here, if you're enjoying your game, it's not about being really serious and dropping all this coin. You've already dropped lots of money in your gaming system. Gaming systems are not cheap. So you're going to spend the money on that, but you're not going to spend the money on... And a lot of you guys will have LCD TV. Some of you guys don't, uh, granted, but... If you're really into gaming, if you want to really, it's not that you take it super seriously, but you really want to enjoy it. It's like wanting to enjoy your Blu-ray player. You're not going to watch it on a standard tube television, which are extinct right now. You're going to watch it, and you're going to want to watch it on a high-definition television. Because if you're not watching it on 1080p, what's the point of getting a Blu-ray player? There is no point. And if you're one of those people that bought a Blu-ray player but don't have a high-definition television, you're an idiot. Why didn't you just buy a DVD? You cannot watch the Blu-rays the way that they're supposed to be watched if you don't have a high-definition and HD TV. So it's the same thing with your system. Gaming does allow you for lower resolution, and that's fine. But if you want to fully embrace uh, and enjoy what you're, you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're hearing... You owe it to yourself to at least save up your money. And I'm not saying, like, go out and get a loan for for God's sakes. But if you're buying games on a regular basis, put off the games for a little bit. Put off one title, two titles. Save your money up and invest in a good headset. Because I promise you, if you get a good headset, it's not that it makes your game so much better. It does improve your gaming. Don't get me wrong. And I'll get into that as well. But it makes it enjoyable. You hear things. You hear the sounds. You hear explosions. You experience games the way they're supposed to be experienced. And while you can listen to it through your, your TV, like through the stereo sound, not near the same. Right now, I'm using Triton AX Pros uh, surround sound. There's eight speakers, four in each side, three, uh, the center, uh, forward, and rear in each one. And then there's an actual sub bass or subwoofer, mini one, of course, would blow your eardrums off, but a, an actual bass in each side. So when I'm listening to a game and there's explosions going off, it's way, way, way more intense than it would be if I was just listening on a TV and getting that sort of tinny sound. You can have it in surround sound, but again, if you're like me, and I'm sure you've all got people, other people that live in your house, you can't just crank your friggin' stereo and have your house shake, and you're like, boom, and they're like, oh my god, I think there's a war going on in your house. Because believe me, if you're playing something like World at War, or any of these war games, and bombs are going off, that bass will shake your house to friggin' crumbles just <laughs> so the the earphones allow you to but it, not even that though the earphones when you actually have them on like a good set um really do sort of bring you into the game like i couldn't believe it. when i pr first put on like i went through uh, i'll let you know i do have a uh, a playstation uh earpiece which is garbage compared to the xbox one you know the wireless headset oh i don't have it around here anyway uh, a good friend of mine uh and uh live screen live stream subscriber closer to the arch is uh that's his gamer tag sorry if you didn't want me to give it out anyway a good friend of mine um he lent me his uh wireless 
Xboxing. And at first I was like, wow, that's kind of a little weird. Because I, honest to God, I hate, and I'll show you this right now, see if I can show you to you. There's my my PlayStation headset, and you can see it's taped onto my, uh, I'll show you that setup after. It's my Triton, and I'll get into why I don't like it very much, uh, the Tritons right now. Sound, amazing, quality, garbage. Anyway, um, so he let me that, and that thing stays on. This PlayStation thing, the loop, the, the earpiece on it, garbage, man. It's a piece of crap. Don't bother getting it. Go out and get, like, a, a Logitech USB you know, PC gaming thing. Works just as well. Put it over your head. Just get over the fact, like, oh, I don't like it on my hair because, you know, what happens if the chicks come over? Dudes, no chicks are going over to your house, okay? Just get over yourself. You're a gamer. Oh, I really like the games and everything. I can't go out to the bars. Anyway, so don't waste your money on that thing. I use it, thankfully I do have it because I use it now for my mic on my Tritons, which I paid a lot of money for. I think it was like 200 bucks or something like that. Um, anyway, it's, it's a piece of garbage. At least the Xbox one, it actually holds on and stays on there. Um, the, the bottom line is though, you have to invest in, in a quality one. And I'm not talking about stereo sound. If that's all you can afford, like uh, turtle P 21s, lots of people have them very, very common headset. And now I know you're like, Oh yeah, I can hear directionally. I even players on my team, a lot of players on the NGT elite team have P 21s and they're like, Oh no, I can hear it. No, no, no. You have stereo sound. You do not have surround sound. You people need to understand there's a huge, huge difference. Yes, you can hear left or right. That's not what I'm talking about. With a pair of Triton AX Pros or even Astros, which I'm going to be picking up and I'm going to be getting because i got to replace these pieces of crap. Anyway, with, with Tritons, I can hear 360. I can pinpoint exactly where they are. If they're behind me and walking around to the... To the right, I can actually hear them, and I can hear them and locate them. I know that they're on an angle there. I know that they're going forward. I can actually hear that. Whereas P21s give you that sort of idea that they're on that side and somewhere there, and they can try and sort of simulate that, but you're not going to get near the same experience, and you're not going to get the same quality sound coming through it. They're good. They're not great, and they ride their name on it. I think they're like 100 bucks or something like that, but they are stereo sound people not surround sound stereo sound huge difference huge difference in the quality plus with the triton ax pros like i said there's four speakers with the sub bass in there that sub bass and it, the problem is is if you ever pick up triton ax pros there's six million cables all over the place there's the optical there's the power going to the headset there's the power going to the actual amplifier um and then you've got the control a lot of good controls on it but that's actually the problem and i'll show you this right here this control unit here the problem that I'm having is this piece that it, that's actually fitting into this. And I'm going to actually make this a, a two-part series because this is important. So don't, don't worry. I'm not going to rush this. Uh, this is the first part. We're going to get into the second part as well uh, in just a minute. But anyway, this, this piece here, right in here, because it's, this is dangling free and you're constantly always adjusting and everything like that, what's happened is this constant move in, movement in the wire here is actually because this is all fine circuitry is actually cutting off my mic and it was one of the first things to actually go the mic itself didn't break but I read a lot of reports before I bought it and then I figure you know most people they're just careless let their dogs chew on it they're like oh my mic broke a lot of reports of mics being broken I'm like how can you break your mic like seriously like what are you doing are you chewing on it are you throwing it down in anger I don't know but anyway it turns out that the problem is is not necessarily the mic it's the connections here and the the fine wiring i even opened it up tried to see if the solder joints were gone i couldn't see anything and i have no idea what the hell happened uh why the mic the, nonetheless the mic is gone that's why you see this thing type uh taped to it so now i use have to use the the playstation mic in order to actually um communicate which is a pain in the ass and i got to recharge and everything anyway that's the end of uh, part one watch part two we'll keep on going on about this it's a very important subject if you want to enjoy your gaming all right peace watch number two this is only part one